a trend-setting radio station you can only hear on one street in the whole world. Hollywood may be famous as the place where Heidi Fleiss practiced her trade, but it's also known for other things like an array of outstanding billboards. Some of those billboards have recently sprouted antenna and started communicating. Paul Verkamen tells us what's in the air over the town's most famous street. On Hollywood's surreal Boulevard of Dreams, the Sunset Strip, aliens have seemingly taken over the airwaves. The Martians have landed today. Supernova. Sounds great. Sound promoting the band Supernova emanates from a low-power radio station, one-tenth of a watt, perfectly legal. Sunset Boulevard is unparalleled in the fact that it... it um, appeals completely to the entertainment community. Atlantic Records set up a chain of radio transmitters on billboards along Sunset Boulevard, an aerial underground radio station. The music does not sound spectacular. It is not full audible stereo, but it is a signal that can be gotten in every car up and down Sunset Boulevard. The low-power station showcases Atlantic Records acts from newcomers like Never the Bride. Oh, rock legends like Page and Plant. The low power station started in New York near two commuter tunnels. Big Apple commuters who called the station gave a password and received free fares to pay their tolls. Here on Sunset Boulevard, there are not any toll booths, so Atlantic Records is offering up free music in various forms. I'll give you CDs, concert tickets, and other assorted stuff just because I love you, man. Yep, Geek Boy is the voice of this mythical radio station. We like making fun of the station, pretending it's a insignificant nothing station that people stumble upon, and uh, that's why the, the DJ is such a geek. So L.A. drivers tuning into 16.10 a.m. are stuck with Geek Boy in traffic. Right now, here's the 7 Mary 3, or should I say, El Siete Maria Trace, doing cumbersome right now on Atlantic Sunset underground the character kind of came to life on its own and people seem to care about him because he's such a geek we're averaging between 50 and 100 calls every day and based on a two percent response ratio that puts us at several thousand listeners a day and with such eye-popping publicity stunts the low power station gets a reaction paul burkham and cnn entertainment news hollywood